This is Cameron Chai bringing you another episode of Azo TV. And today we're speaking to Bob Fiddler from Netch, and he's going to tell us about their STA449F1 simultaneous thermal analyzer with infrared capabilities. Thanks, Cameron. Uh, today here uh, we're going to display uh, one of our simultaneous thermal analyzers, the Netch STA449F1 unit. And uh, what's significant about the system is it's able to measure both uh, thermogravimetric analysis for mass change behavior simultaneously with differential scanning calorimetry. That gives us heat flow behaviors as well as the mass change. Uh, you've got a furnace that sits on top of the sample. The system has the capability to add up to two furnaces. You can change back and forth between furnaces very easily. Different sensors allow you to measure different properties. This is a DSC sensor mounted into the microbalance that gives you then simultaneous DSC and TGA. What's really unique about the NETCH instruments is you also have the capability to measure what I would call large sample or jumbo sample TGA measurements. So that's quite, uh, quite powerful. We have a large cup that you can put samples in this instrument up to five grams with a dynamic range across the full five grams. Uh, there's a, uh, this is a 3.4 milliliter crucible. There's also a 5 milliliter crucible. And then also, we have uh, the ability to put a plate on top of it for large chunks of material. So we've got the thimble, large plates, a DSC sensor, DTA sensors. The NETCH systems are really famous for high flexibility uh, for your research needs. There's a second model that's also available called the STA449F3 system, and that has a different microbalance inside uh, uh, and also uh, uh, a different uh, vacuum capabilities. The systems are vacuum tight. That lets you evacuate then and backfill with pure gas atmospheres, and that's also a, uh, a feature of the NETCH equipment. The uh, temperature ranges, uh, what's really special about the NETCH uh, thermal analyzers is that you have quite a variety of furnace capabilities. Uh, the, uh, the highest temperature furnace that we offer is up to 2,400 degrees Celsius, but we also have a subambient furnace that will allow you to go as low as negative 150 degrees C. So minus 150 with liquid nitrogen up to 1,000 degrees C. The most common furnaces that we sell are silicon carbide, which is up to uh, room temperature to 1550 C. And then we also have furnaces that are designed to allow you to measure specific heat of materials, rhodium to 1650 C and platinum to uh, 1500 degrees C. So quite a lot of flexibility for your research needs. Uh, what's also uh, really unique is our capability to inter interface to gas analyzers. Today we're showing for the first time the Netch STA coupled to the Bruker FTIR. This is the Tensor FTIR system. You can see the gases would come off the sample through the heated transfer line. The transfer line is heated, there's no cold spots, so nowhere for the gases to condense. It's heated to 250 degrees C. The gases feed this gas cell. What's unique about the gas cell from Brooker is that it's got a very long path length, uh, over 13 centimeters long in path length, but a very low volume. What's important then is the longer the path length, the better the sensitivity of the infrared measurements. The, the more narrow the chamber, then the, more, uh, the less the dilution effects. So you get a stronger, more sensitive signal in the Brooker FTIR with their heated gas cell. And uh, another nice feature about the system is uh, you can also use this as a standalone FTIR when you're not running samples in the heated gas cell. And what sort of, what sort of materials do people usually run through an instrument like this? Materials uh, could be uh, run an entire range. Uh, uh, things like uh, metals, ceramics, glass, but also organic materials. Uh, nowadays, particularly with the FTIR foods, pharmaceutical materials, uh, organic chemicals. Uh, the, uh, uh, the FTIR gives a, really a nice capability to, uh, to analyze the, uh, the molecular species. There's also other uh, gas analyzers that we can couple to. A mass spectrometer, for example, a quadrupole mass spectrometer. And then also uh, uh, now uh, we're introducing a system that will do GC mass spec. And so that adds uh, some new capabilities, some new horsepower to the NETCH portfolio of, of thermal analyzers and evolved gas analysis. So this is all adding lots of flexibility to people's uh, analysis systems? 
That's correct. I think that's really the, the, the hallmark of Netch equipment is high flexibility. Uh, so really, no matter what your research needs are in the area of thermal analysis, our systems are adaptable and very flexible uh, for that type, of, uh, that type of research. All right, Bob, thanks for telling us about the, the simultaneous thermal analyzer with infrared capability. If anyone wants more information about that, they can find that on your website. Yes, they can uh, very easy go to www.netch.com. That's N-E-T-Z-S-C-H, N-E-T-Z-S-C-H.com. Right, Bob, thanks for telling us about the, the STA with IR capabilities. You got it. Thanks.